The Chop Shop DLC just released in GTA Online with many new items to purchase. So today in this video, I will buy everything that's brand new from the Chop Shop DLC. How much is this all going to cost me? Let's find out. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the Chop Shop DLC just released and they just added a new business to the game. And this is going to be the first thing I'm going to buy with this new business. So yeah, let's head over to my internet. Let's go over to Mays Bank foreclosure and we need to sort by salvage yards and there's five different salvage yards that we can purchase. Now these two at the top of the map, the Polito Bay location and the Sandy Shores location, it's more like the poverty locations. We don't want to go there. Absolutely disgusting. So we have these three down here and I've already seen a decent amount of videos for the Chop Shop DLC and yeah, definitely these three are going to be the best ones, but there is one in particular that everyone really is making the mistake of buying just because it's a little bit annoying of a location. You have this one right here, the Moreta Heights one, which is going to cost you $2,420,000. It's a little bit off to the side of the city, but you know, not bad at all. Then you have the Strawberry location coming in at $2,570,000. This one's centrally located. It's pretty easy to access. And then you have this one right here. This location was teased a lot by Rockstar. This one's the most expensive one, the La Puerta location coming in at $2,690,000. But I'm not going to buy this one because this location kind of sucks. It's kind of hard to get in and out of this location. I remember this from one of the Fulligan's jobs. I forgot exactly what Fulligan's job, but there's a Fulligan's job where you have to go to this location and it's incredibly tough to get out of there. It's very narrow, very annoying to get out of. So we're not gonna mess around with the La Puerta location. So instead, I'm going to get the Strawberry location. It's much easier to access. Uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of people make that mistake. It's gonna cost us $2,570,000. Oh yeah, I did some calculating and everything in this DLC in total is going to cost us just under $30 million dollars if you want to buy every single thing right now and that includes the three pegasus vehicles with their trade prices and that also includes this strawberry location instead of the puerto location it's still going to cost us just under 30 million dollars and that's before we even upgrade any of the vehicles too so i'm sitting right now at 35 million dollars yeah i had to pretty much sell a bunch of vehicles but we are going to buy this strawberry location right here and what we're going to do is we're going to get the trade rates we can get a tow truck right here you have two tow trucks you can get you can get the beater one which is kind of a rusty looking one. And then you have, you know, this better looking one. And it's pretty much, it's pretty much like a $500,000 upgrade to get the better looking one. I don't even know if it's 100% worth it to get the, the better one, but I'm going to get it for this account. Uh, then the wall safe. I'm going to get the wall safe. It can store up to $250,000. And we're also going to get the staff, which will help us to make even more money so we can salvage two vehicles instead of one vehicle at a time. So yeah, in total, that's going to cost us $5,495,000. It's a pretty expensive business. So let's purchase this salvage yard right here. And there we go. We still have like $30 million left in the bank. Yusef is calling us right now. And this is a guy that was from GTA 4. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the salvage yard and we're going to go through the introduction. So let me go do that. All right. So there's Yusef and he's sliding down the rail and he fell on his face. Jeez. All right, here's the other guy that's gonna be a part of this business. This guy is Jamal. This is Yusuf's cousin. We're gonna be doing a lot of missions for Jamal. Jamal is pretty much gonna be, I, I think, the main guy we're pretty much interacting with. All right, so I'm inside of my salvage yard right now, and I just finished recording a video of me trying to make as much money as possible with this DLC within two hours. So I've already kind of done a lot of this stuff as far as like making money within the salvage yard. So I'm not gonna go over it again. But if you want to see that video tomorrow, make sure you hit that subscribe button and maybe leave a like down below while you're at it too. I don't know. Because I'm going to be pumping out a lot of DLC content for you guys. So I don't really want you to miss any of that content. All right. So anyways, now it's time for us to buy every single vehicle that was added into this DLC. So let's head over to our phone. Let's take a look at all these vehicles. All right. So I'm going to start out here at Southern San Andreas. We have this vehicle right here, the Astro GZ. Obviously, we're going to buy that for $459,000. And then we have this vehicle right here, the Classy Impaler LX for $1,465,000. This already looks like a vehicle that does not need to be right around $1.5 million. This, this vehicle looks like it's garbage. I, I won't judge yet. I will not judge yet. Maybe this car is sneaky fast. <laughs> then you have this vehicle right here, the Karen Vivianti. Karen Vivianite. Oh, uh, maybe it's called the Karen Vivianite. That makes sense. Anyways, this vehicle is $1.6 Now this vehicle, we can turn into an 
HSW vehicle. I think I'm actually going to do that too. There's another HSW vehicle that I, that I could do, but I'll explain why I'm not going to do that one. All right, so then we have this vehicle right here, the Dominator GT, coming in at $2,195,000. And then we have our next vehicle right here, the Declassy Vigero ZX Convertible, coming in at $2,295,000. This is the other vehicle that can be turned into an HSW vehicle, and I'm specifically not going to turn this one into an HSW vehicle, just because I already have the Vigero ZX, the non-convertible version that's been out just over a year now, I think. I'm assuming it's pretty much like the same car, so I'm not going to really test that vehicle out in that regard. It's a very good vehicle, I will have to say. But yeah, let's purchase it. Then we have the Fathom FR36 coming in at $1,610,000. And this is a vehicle you can apply drift tuning to, which is a new feature with this DLC. That's something I definitely have to check out. All right, now we need to go over to Legendary Motorsport, and we have two more vehicles here. The first one is going to be the Turismo Amagio, coming in at $2,845,000, the most expensive normal vehicle with this DLC. And you can upgrade this vehicle with a Monitech at the agency. So I guess I'll do that for this vehicle. And then you have the Vapid Aleutian right here, coming in at $1,835,000. And this is another vehicle you can put a Monitech on. I honestly don't know if I'm going to do it on this one. I feel like it'd be a little overkill. I don't know. And there we go. That's all the normal vehicles that we needed to purchase, but there's still some worst dog cash and carry vehicles. There's actually three that we need to get. If this one right here, the unmarked cruiser, I need to survive a three-star one level or above for five minutes. Okay, that, that won't be too hard. I, I don't know if I've unlocked the trade price for this one or not, but at, whatever. And then we have the Stanier Le Cruiser coming in at $3,517,000. I'm pretty sure this is the trade price, so I think I already got it by doing some of the robberies earlier. But anyways, yeah, we buy this. Finally, putting a police car in my garage. That is pretty cool. And then we need to get the police riot. Now, I can't actually like store this vehicle like inside of like garages or whatever. I think this is a Pegasus vehicle. I'm pretty sure. But this one's going to cost me $3,600,000. This is the trade price for this vehicle. So yeah, let's purchase that. We've already spent over 20 million. We have $9,759,000 left in my bank account. My goodness, this is an expensive DLC. I still have one more vehicle to purchase. Let me survive a three-star one level for five minutes. All right, there we go. I lost the cops. Um, thank you, Ron. Um, and now I actually purchased that vehicle. Okay, I think I do actually get the trade price, which is very awesome. Thank you very much. And there we go. We purchased every single vehicle from this DLC, but we still need to customize them all. I have right around like $7 million to actually like customize these vehicles. Yeah, let's go have some fun and customize them. Oh yeah, I almost forgot before I was about to actually start customizing all my vehicles. There's a new gun in the game. And it's here at the gun van. I usually don't even go to the gun van, but yeah, let's take a look. And we have this new weapon called the battle rifle. I've already messed around with this weapon a little bit and I am not a fan, but I'll actually purchase it. It just doesn't seem consistent, you know? I don't know. I, it feels weird. Is this is the service carbine. So it feels just more consistent, you know? I'm not the biggest gun guy, but I, I, I still prefer the service carbine. Okay, the battle rifle does a little bit more damage. The service carbine shoots a lot quicker uh, and is a lot more accurate. I feel like the service carbine kind of just blows that gun away. All right, so here's all my cars in the game. I mean, it, this is pretty much looking like a funeral. I, <laughs> every car I got, I, I made black. All right, so we're going to go back here. We're going to start out with this vehicle right here, which is going to be the Astro GZ. I really don't think this vehicle's that crazy. It wasn't even 500 grand. Oh, so, yeah, I'm probably not going to spend too much money on this. Yeah, I parked my MOC nearby so I can customize these vehicles quickly. I really want to, I don't know. I really don't want to customize this vehicle even like that much. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at deliveries. Okay, this actually has some pretty cool liveries. I'm not going to lie. Oh my goodness. Dude, like all these liveries are, like, are actually pretty cool in my opinion. Actually, <laughs> Actually, think they did a great job with this deliveries at least um i don't know i'll go with this I don't, i'll go with this sprunk screw it I, I, purple purple works there we go yeah quite literally this is all i'm doing to this vehicle i i don't really care about this vehicle it's a cool livery though i guess i'll take it for a drive around the block i didn't really like customize like you know the transmission the engine tunes uh yeah this car seems slow what kind of car is this again? this is a sedan interesting i'm not too excited about this car except for this livery or all the liveries actually all the 
the liveries on this are fantastic. The actual vehicle itself and a dog water. You know, honestly, we're gonna leave the vehicle right there. You know, just get out. Get out the vehicle now. Hey, I'm clicking Y for a reason. There you go. Yeah, that. That's how we get. Oh, okay. We went through that thing. All right. Yeah, we're, we're leaving the vehicle right there. Oh, should I rank every vehicle? I don't know. I'll give that vehicle two out of ten. The only reason I got an extra point is because of liveries. All right. Next vehicle is gonna be this one right here. The Impaler LX, a muscle car. Hmm. I am not a fan of muscle cars. Yeah, because muscle cars like to spin their tires a lot, but maybe not as much as the Arbiter GT, I hope. Uh, I feel like I actually should, like, actually upgrade this one. This could be one of the better muscle cars in the game. I don't know for sure, though. Oh, yeah, before I do anything, though, I gotta check the liveries. I gotta check the liveries. I mean, this is just in your face. Okay, I'll do that one. Sure. God, this vehicle looks so good in purple. My goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna add the purple to it. Why does every vehicle look good in purple? All right, I really went ham, like, customizing this vehicle. I mean, this vehicle actually looked really, really cool. I really like this livery on it. Uh, I didn't mean to aim my gun at you, but, I mean, yeah, this is this, this looks like a great vehicle. I mean, I don't know how fast this vehicle is, but I, I hope it's pretty fast. I mean, I customized it fully. It doesn't seem as annoying as the Arbiter GT already. Why isn't this an HSW vehicle? This would be a much better HSW vehicle than the Arbiter GT. Seems like a pretty cool vehicle. Not bad. I'm gonna rate this one 5 out of 10. Pretty cool vehicle. I think good for a muscle car, but pretty good vehicle overall. Alright, the next car we have to customize is gonna be the Viviante. Oh, Viva Knight. I called it the Viva Knight. I, I, I don't know if that's right. This is gonna be a vehicle that we can turn into an HSW vehicle, so I'm gonna take it over to, to the HSW workshop real quick. Right, so we're here at the HSW workshop. Yeah, we need to turn this bad boy into an HSW vehicle for $800,000. I kind of forgot that there was an HSW performance upgrade, but all right, there we go. Oh, there's only two liveries with it. It's just the HSW and uh, the HSW Elite. Wait, have I completed every HSW time trial? Isn't that what I have to do in order to get this? I don't remember getting that <laughs> on this account. All right, so here's my Viva Knight after like customizing it. And I mean, I'm just happy I can get this um, how special works livery. I, I, I thought this was locked for me. Um, yeah, honestly, the stats on this vehicle kind of look lackluster, in my opinion. Like, usually that acceleration bar is, like, past that fifth bar, and there's, like, a whole nother set underneath it. For this one's not. This honestly might not be the best HSW vehicle in the game, but at some point in this video, I'm gonna try to complete the HSW vehicle time trial for this week, which is, it's my second least favorite one, so. <laughs> but yeah, now let's go customize some more vehicles. All right, so the next vehicle we need to customize is going to be the Vapid Dominator GT. I don't think there's anything special with this vehicle. So yeah, we're going to take it over to my MOC. Yeah, I didn't know this was another muscle car. I'll, I'll customize the heck out of this. I think this is actually going to be a pretty good muscle car. All right, what is, what is our liveries looking like here, huh? I actually really do like this one. I'm, I'm going to go with this one. All right, so this is my vehicle right here. I'll display it a little bit better once I get back into my garage, but I want to test drive this a little bit. I don't know. It feels like a pretty good vehicle. I don't know. Oh, I didn't rate the Viva Knight. Shoot. Um, I'm going to rate the Viva Knight a 4 out of 10. That's the last vehicle that we touched. Uh, this vehicle, I'll go 6 out of 10. The rate, the other muscle car, I think a 5 out of 10. I'll go 6 out of 10 for this one. It's a little bit better than the other muscle car. This is what my vehicle looks like in the end. I, I really like this livery on it. And it drives pretty well, I think, for a muscle car. But now that the next car we need to customize is going to be right here. The Vigero ZX Convertible. This is another muscle car. And uh, this is this is one of the fastest, if not the fastest muscle car in the game. I already know this because... Uh, uh, I already have the Vigero ZX. I'm not going to turn this to an HSW vehicle, even though I could. Just because I already have the other Vigero ZX. So I, I just feel like it's a little pointless. Bro, what is this? Oh, this is a pace car. Oh. I'll go with a pace car look. Sure, I'll, I'll do I'll do a pace car. All right, I, I think this vehicle might be the second best vehicle, or at least the second fastest vehicle with this DLC. Oh my God. Just looking at the stats customizing this thing, even without the HSW mods, my goodness. This thing is quick. I'm a fan of this vehicle. I'm going to rate this. Yeah, I'll go 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for this vehicle. Oh, yeah. This is what it looks like right here. I put the put the pace car look on it. And now we have the Fathom FR36 right here. And this is going to be a very different vehicle for us just because we can actually make this vehicle a drift vehicle. So I actually need to take this vehicle all the way to HSW Mod Shop again. All right. So here are the HSW Mod Shop drift tuning. So we have to pay $200,000 to make this a drift vehicle vehicle, I guess. All right, and there we go. This vehicle is now a drift vehicle. Oh, this is an ad for Anis. I thought that, for some reason, I thought that said Rolex in the beginning. I, I don't know. You know, I'll, I'll get it just because I thought of that. And it kind of looks cool, too, I will have to say. All right, it's a little dark, but this is kind of what my vehicle looks like after customizing it. I kind of went over the top with this one just because I know tomorrow I'm going to make a video of the drift racing. Like, how crazy is this drifting? I, I feel like I have no traction at all. <laughs> 
so so it's here oh my oh my i gotta get used to this crap oh my jeez this is weird this is so weird if there was ice in gta not snow not snow just pure ice this is what it'd feel like i did see a clip of doing donuts with this thing oh there we go there we go that's what i wanted to do okay i was so confused yeah <laughs> look at this <laughs> this looks so stupid <laughs> My goodness. Okay, okay, okay. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. All right, all right, yeah, yeah. All right, here's one more look at the FR36. I think it looks like a pretty cool vehicle, but we're gonna we're gonna mess around with that vehicle a little bit more tomorrow. All right, so now let's get into the Turismo Amagia right here. Now this vehicle can be turned into an Amani Tech vehicle, and that's exactly what we're gonna do with this vehicle. Which luckily we're not too far away from my agency, so we can do that pretty quick. First things first, we're gonna put Amani Tech on it. We'll put a missile lock on jammer on this. Sure. Ah, uh, now livery. How, how are the liveries looking today? Oh, Oh, this is the this is the Rockstar Games one. Oh, right. This was like another thing that we had back in like November that we had to do that I definitely didn't participate in, but I still get credit for it. Thank you, Rockstar community. I'll take a free livery. Um, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll brand you for today, but I'm putting Dr. Crush Orange on it. Yeah, and you're gonna like it. That's how my vehicle's gonna look. Let me just put some more stuff on it. All right. So once again, this is what the vehicle looks like. I actually think this vehicle looks really good. As a money tech, no one can blow me up, but no one can blow me up anyways when I'm in an invite only session. Haha, ha, jokes on them. I um, mean, yeah, it feels like a pretty quick vehicle. Should this get a 10 out of 10? I don't know. I'm gonna go 9 out of 10. And that's just me being a little cautious just because I don't know how fast this is compared to like other like supercars and whatnot. But I do know. I do know you can put a missile lock on jammer on this, which is pretty cool. And you can make this an RC vehicle if you want, which that's even more fun in my opinion. All right, the next vehicle we have is going to be the Aleutian right here. This is another Amani Tech vehicle. Um, Honestly, I'm not gonna make this an Amani Tech vehicle. The, the livery's might be the worst ones on here to be honest screw it I, i'll be american today i mean i am an american but i'll be american today and put on the american flag <laughs> yeah i guess let me customize the rest of this vehicle real quick yeah i just really see no point in me upgrading this vehicle to the max i mean we put the we put the american flag livery on it i mean that's good enough come on other than this vehicle being an amani tech vehicle nothing really special with this vehicle not fast i did say you could put like slick mines and proximity mines i think or something yeah, you know, but with the upgrades you can put on it, I'll, I'll put this as like a 6 out of 10. I think that's fair. All right, so now we need to upgrade the Stenier Le Cruiser. It's going to be the cop car. It's an emergency vehicle. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do with this, huh? What? I don't know. I, I'll do the Polito Bay. Screw it, you know? Okay, I think this one works. I actually think that actually worked. The Anodized Blue Pearl. Okay. <laughs> this is what my vehicle looks like. This is what my police cruiser looks like. Pull over. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to run into the back of you. I'm so sorry. Pull over. Pull over. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Hey, oh, oh, you want to run? Yeah, that's right. You stop right there. Hey, are we gonna make that hey, 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 you're running. You're running. You're running. You're no, 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 no runners. Oh, shoot. The cops are on me now. Oh, uh, you know, what? I, I, I'm going to I'm going to go back inside of my garage and pretend like none of this ever happened. Uh, but this is kind of fun. I actually really like that this is in the game, but I'm going to rate this seven out of 10. You know, I don't know like the practicality behind this, though, to be honest. I think that's what's keeping it behind. But here's one more look at the Stanier Le Cruiser right here. And now we have the unmarked cruiser right here, which I'm very interested to see what this is going to look like. So yeah, let's customize this thing. Okay, we don't have any liveries, but that makes sense though. That makes a lot of sense. Should I just make this orange? Just kind of be like, ha 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 ha. I'm, I'm going to go with my orange. Um, Yeah, I don't think there's really that much else to do with this. So I mean, I'll quickly customize the rest of this vehicle. All right, so here we go. Here is my, um, what's this, the arm? Yeah, the unmarked cruiser. I don't know. Uh, let me pull someone over. Pull over. Pull over. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, you've you've done something. You've done something. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Oh, you want to fight a cop, huh? 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 What's up? What? Oh, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. That's what I'm saying. I mean, he thought this was just a normal orange vehicle like this red car. I mean, this this red car has done some nasty things. I mean, like, pull over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He just thinks this is a normal orange car. Oh, you're trying to run? Is that what you're trying to do? Here, you know what? You're free to go. You're free to go. You're free to go. You're fine. You're fine. Sorry. Wrong person. Psych! Come on, how did you fall for that? Like, come on. But yeah, I'm gonna rate this one a six out of 10. Uh, not a lot of customization going with this. I think that's why it's a little bit less in my opinion. All right, so now we need to customize our final vehicle, which is going to be the police riot van. So we need to go down here. We need to call up Pegasus. And uh, where would this 
be... Would this be under special? Okay, yes, it'd be under special. All right, so here's your police riot van right here. It looks like a normal police riot van, but I have to customize this thing. But where? Where are you going to customize this vehicle? Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to have to look this up. All right, so I'm looking right here. It literally says at the bottom, please note, this vehicle can only be modified in properties you own. Well, I just watched a video of some guy that tried to customize this. A bunch of different spots that he owns, like the facility... The MOC, the Avenger. You can't customize it any of those places. You can't store this vehicle anywhere, like the agency or the arena war workshop or, or the facility. I don't see a true answer to this. Where can I actually customize this vehicle? I'm going to put this as a 1 out of 10. This is the most expensive vehicle that came out of this DLC. You can't even customize it. Not that great. I actually liked the other vehicles in this DLC. But yeah, not being able to customize this vehicle kind of sucks. But now I'm actually going to try and do the HSW time drive for this week and i have no idea how that's gonna go so wish me luck all right so i called in my viva night with my hsw livery on it and it is time for us to try to do the hsw time trial with this vehicle this is my second least favorite hsw time trial pacific bluffs i'm not a fan of this one and looking at the stats of this vehicle i don't think it's a great vehicle but let's just see how it goes uh, i'm gonna give myself five attempts if i cannot complete it in five attempts then i'm blaming it on the vehicle with a normal hsw vehicle a good HSW vehicle, I should be able to complete this within five attempts. But we're going to start this time trial right now. Attempt number one. This vehicle is very, very quiet. The, v the Viva Knight. It doesn't sound like an electric vehicle, though. It just seems very quiet. I will have to say that keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going car why are you cutting me off okay just keep going i was about to say before i just ran to a light pole that i feel very in control of this vehicle which is very very rare for an hsw vehicle yeah i will have to say i feel very very in control of this vehicle this is a very different experience that car just screwed me over. There is no way around that. Okay, I honestly do not think we're gonna complete it here. I think I wrecked a few too many times. Oh, wait, hold on. Five, no, break, break. We're not gonna complete it. Okay, okay. That's very promising though. I am not mad. That was, that was my fault. That was my fault that we screwed that up because I wrecked a little too much in the beginning. I'm very, very shocked that that was that good of an attempt with this vehicle. All right, so let me just get on the interstate right here. Okay, smooth to get on the other exit ramp. I'm trying to cut some time. That's my fault. That's on me car why are you stopping okay cool okay not bad I, I don't think that's that bad all right so all i have to do is just cross this bridge and i think we should be good to go oh my god oh my we're gonna crush this the viva night the viva night i am shocked i thought this thing wasn't gonna do that well this thing did great i'm i'm gonna if i did rank it earlier i'm going to adjust my ranking i'm gonna put eight out of ten i'm gonna make it an eight out of ten that was probably my best hsw time trial experience with this specific time trial but i'm gonna be uploading more videos on this dlc so subscribe and turn on post notifications to make sure you're notified of all new things with this dlc along with you being notified of when my loser to luxury series comes out make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see just how bad the san andreas mercenary dlc was in gta online